Hello students, welcome to today's session. Welcome to YouTube channel Savita Borke. Today we are going to discuss definition of marketing and its functions in detail. What is marketing? Marketing can be defined as the process of identifying, anticipating, and fulfilling customer needs profitably. It's not just about selling a product, it's about understanding what the customer wants and delivering it to them in a way that adds value. Let me give you an example. Imagine a smartphone company. They don't just manufacture phones and throw them into the market. They first conduct research to understand what features customers are looking for, maybe a better camera, a longer battery life, or faster processing speed. Based on these needs, they design the product. But marketing doesn't stop there. They also need to determine how much to charge for the phone, how to promote it, and how to get it to the customer. All of this comes under marketing. Now, let's move on to the functions of marketing. These functions are the building blocks of any successful marketing strategy. We'll break them down one by one. 1. Marketing research. Marketing starts with research. This is the process of gathering information about consumer preferences, market trends, and competitors. Why is research so important? Because without understanding what the market wants, a company can't develop products or services that will be successful. Example Think about a company like Nike. Before launching a new shoe, they conduct extensive research to understand customer preferences, fashion trends, and even the performance needs of athletes. This way, they ensure their products hit the right mark. 2. Product Planning and Development once research is done, the next step is to develop the product. This function involves designing and improving products to meet customer needs. It includes everything from product features to packaging. Example Let's go back to our smartphone example. After conducting research, the company may decide to include a high-resolution camera, sleek design, and a long-lasting battery based on customer demand. This is how product development works. 3. Pricing Setting the right price is crucial. If the price is too high, customers might not buy it. If it's too low, the company might not make a profit. Pricing strategies depend on several factors like production costs, competition, and customer demand. Example Think of a new restaurant that just opened. They might use a low pricing strategy initially to attract customers, and once they gain popularity, they might slowly raise prices. This is called penetration pricing, and it's a common pricing strategy in marketing. 4. Promotion Promotion is about communicating with your target audience to inform them about your product. It can involve advertising, sales promotions, public relations, and personal selling. Example You've seen how Coca-Cola promotes its products with catchy ads on TV, social media, and billboards. They focus on creating an emotional connection with their audience, which makes their brand memorable. 5. Distribution, Place Distribution is all about ensuring that the product reaches the customer at the right place and time. It includes choosing the right distribution channels, like wholesalers, retailers, or e-commerce platforms. Example. Think of Amazon. They have a robust distribution network that allows customers to receive products quickly, no matter where they are. Efficient distribution makes it convenient for customers to access products, which is key to a company's success. 6. Customer Relationship Management, CRM Building and maintaining good relationships with customers is a critical marketing function. This ensures customer loyalty and repeat business. Companies use CRM systems to track customer interactions and personalize communication. Example You may have noticed how online shopping platforms send personalized emails based on your past purchases. That's a result of CRM efforts, where companies work to keep you engaged and satisfied. 7. Sales Management Sales management involves planning and controlling the selling efforts. It ensures that the sales team is aligned with the company's objectives and that the sales targets are being met. Example In many companies, sales teams are given specific targets to meet each month. 
They use different techniques, like offering discounts or bundling products, to meet these goals and increase sales. 8. Market Segmentation and Targeting This function involves dividing the market into smaller segments based on characteristics like age, income, or preferences. After that, companies target the specific segments that are most likely to buy their products. Example a company like Johnson & Johnson creates different products for babies, adults, and elderly people. Each product targets a specific segment, and their marketing efforts are tailored accordingly. 9. Branding Branding is about creating a distinct identity for your product. A strong brand makes your product stand out from the competition and helps build customer loyalty. Example Think of Apple the brand is known for its innovation, premium design, and user-friendly products. Their branding is so strong that people are willing to pay a premium just to own an Apple product. 10. After-sales service Lastly, after-sales service is crucial in ensuring customer satisfaction even after the product is sold. This includes services like warranties, repairs, and customer support. Example Companies like Samsung provide after-sales service by offering warranties and easy access to repair centers, ensuring that their customers remain satisfied with their products long after the purchase. Underscore 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 that was an overview of the major functions of marketing. As you can see, marketing is not just about selling a product. It involves research, product development, pricing, promotion, distribution, and building long-term relationships with customers. I hope this explanation helps you understand the depth and importance of marketing in today's business world. Thank you for watching this video on marketing and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Savita Borke for more educational content. See you in the next session.